Hello, it's Miss Julie from Miss Julie Virtual Preschool and Crafts, and we are in a new month of June, and I'm here to celebrate all the fun days on the calendar in the month of June with you. But before we get started, hit that subscribe button below so you can see when I go live or I post videos that I've created just for you. Now, today is June 1st, and Today, one of the days on today's special day's calendar is National Go Barefoot Day. How fun, right? It's starting to be summer in most places. It's warm out, and it's a great day to take off your socks and shoes and go barefoot. I'm going to tell you a little bit about why this started, and then we can make it craft together. All right, so... National Barefoot Day started in 2004, so not that long ago. Some of you have maybe been alive in 2004. So this National Barefoot Day was started to um, help people donate shoes to less fortunate people. So this would be a good day today to go into your closet and pick out a pair of shoes that you haven't worn or don't fit you anymore and find somewhere to donate them. You can go donate them to thrift stores, to those boxes, charity boxes, maybe to a church that has a clothing, food pantry, and you should donate some shoes. Now, besides being a day to donate shoes, and that goes with being barefoot. It's also good for your health to go barefoot and walk in the dirt and the grass and the natural earth. You soak up the sun. You soak up the minerals of the earth and the dirt. And it's great for your body. Uh, let's see. It says that go barefoot day is observed in many countries around the world these days. And it is important for you to do things that you can do to honor Go Barefoot Day. So you can do both those things. You can go take a walk or go out in your backyard in your bare feet, enjoy the grass and the dirt and the rocks. And then you could also go in your closet and find a pair of shoes to donate. Also, for Go Barefoot Day, you can go and paint your toenail or get a pedicure. That would be fun. Now, what we're going to do for Go Barefoot Day today is I found this printout of the footprints. And you can find one of these two on Google. We could color this, or I thought you could take your paint and you could actually paint the bottom of your foot and do a footprint. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off my, I got a piece, I'm going to use a piece of blank paper and I am going to paint the bottom of my foot. Super fun, super, super fun. So you just dip your paintbrush into the paint. You don't even need a lot. And You just tickle, tickle, tickle the bottom of your feet with the paint. You could also trace your foot. If you don't like the feeling of paint on your feet, that's an option too. You can trace your foot with a marker or crayon or pencil. That is always an option if you're not a fan of paint. Because I know some people don't like paint on their fingers and feet, hands and feet, but it's still fun. Okay, so I put the bottom of my, I painted one foot. I'm going to start with one foot. Okay. I got my white paper. And I'm going to put, I'm going to press my foot onto the paper. And let's see the footprint that appears. Super fun, super fun. There is, there is my footprint. So 
I'm going to take my marker and I'm going to use green because green is like color of the grass and earth. And I'm just going to write on it. Go barefoot day. Go barefoot. June 1st. All right. So you can hang this up and you can put it up on your summer board, fun activities you've done, and then go around your yard tag barefoot today. All right, friends. It was great seeing you this morning. And I will see you again tomorrow for another fun day on the calendar by Miss Julie's Virtual Preschool and Crafts. Thank you.